question of the day is, is heat transfer vinyl or ATV dead? In this video, we'll discuss the pros and the cons and the new methods of printing that make a lot of people think that ATV or heat transfer vinyl is dead in the garment industry. Now, even though there are many other methods for creating custom apparel, heat transfer vinyl is still a popular choice for many people for several reasons. First of all, heat transfer vinyl is very inexpensive and it's easy to use, meaning you don't need expensive equipment or any special training to use ATV. Hence why so many crafters and small businesses use it for their garments right at home. Another pro about heat transfer vinyl is that it allows you to be very creative with the wide spectrum of colors, patterns, and finishes. As far as colors, you have every color you can possibly think of. When it comes to patterns, you have patterns like leopard, cheetah, zebra, camo, and there's even companies where you can get patterns for themed months like autism awareness, black history, breast cancer awareness, and so many more versus other printing methods, which can be hard or even impossible to do. Also, HTV is a durable and long lasting method for creating custom apparel. If properly cared, heat transfer vinyl designs can last for years without fading, cracking, or peeling. Now, of course, that depends on the quality of the HTV you're buying and how often you're wearing and washing your garments. On the flip side, like everything else, HTV has its pros and cons. Well, I just told you about some of the pros, so now let's talk a little bit about the cons. Now, when you're using HTV or heat transfer vinyl, it can be hard to weed out those fine details and designs or lettering and may not be suitable for all types of apparel. With the advancement of direct-to-film or DTF transfers or heat transfers, a lot of people have started to switch to these methods for creating custom apparel. Reason being, with DTF transfers, there's no weeding or having to have certain colors in stock to get an order done. Yeah, you might spend a little more on DTF, but the time and energy you save is priceless. Not to mention improving your turnaround times, which opens more slots for you to generate new orders or get other orders done. As for myself, being I work alone, time is of the essence for me, so I've began using a lot more DTFs and heat transfers over the past few months. And as you can see right behind me, I still keep my basic colors in stock. Reason I keep my basic colors is because I have quite a few customers whose logo or designs are required to be done by hand versus screen printing or transfers. Whether it be because they have to be layered for a special effect or whether I have to use a specialty vinyl, for example, puff or reflective HTV. Now I didn't mention before, but oftentimes garments like this can be sold for more than just your ordinary screen printed t-shirt or sweater. So again, another positive of using heat transfer vinyl. Now, a few people have asked me this question and I'll probably do a video about it later on, but the question is, should you use HTV or heat transfer vinyl for a clothing brand? And my response to that is, it all depends on if using HTV aligns with your brand's identity and aesthetic. For example, if your clothing brand logo has a specific texture or feel in the text or design, then your only choice might be to use heat transfer vinyl. However, when it comes to clothing brands, you have to think about the time and money it's gonna cost to constantly be buying HTV and weeding out vinyl for each piece you design and sell. And if you have a successful website or online store and you have orders pouring in, then HTV is not the way to go and it won't work because you just won't be able to keep up with the amount of orders and getting them out on time because it's gonna take too much time, like I said, weeding, cutting out, pressing. And this is why I believe less is more a lot of times because the more time you spend designing an intricate logo for a clothing brand, the more time you have to spend on finding someone to manufacture it exactly how you want it, and you'll have less time to move on to other orders or projects or even marketing for new business. Not to mention burning yourself out. The simpler the design, the easier it is to get completed and shipped off to the customer in a timely fashion. One idea to think about, however, is maybe creating a few different one to two colors. But again, I wouldn't do any more than two colors. Text designs for some of your garments that can be done in HTV and are also quick and easy to weave. So again, no complicated fonts, just keep it simple. Another thing to keep in mind is the type of garment or material you'll be using for your clothing brand. Because again, HTV may not be suitable for all types of fabrics. 
So it's important to test the vinyl on a small piece of the fabric before doing a full production run. If you do decide to use HTV on your brand, make sure to use the best quality HTV you can find. And when it comes to the best, James and my buddies over at Econo Transfer have you covered. Just click the link in the description below under Econo Transfers and it'll take you right to the site. You can check out the wide variety of HTV colors along with all the other specialty vinyls they carry. Comment below if you guys are using more HTV, screen printing, or heat transfers in your business or your t-shirt making. I know I mentioned you can charge a little more for ATV custom items with special effects or vinyls, but I might have forgotten to mention to try to use ATV to also cut costs to you. Here's what I mean. If I have a customer who wants maybe five t-shirts with simple one or two color text, let's say black and white, basic colors. Again, basic colors. Then I'm not gonna order transfers when I can just do it in vinyl, especially if I have those two colors in stock. Saving me money, not having to buy more transfers, plus shipping costs, and still having to wait three to four days for them to arrive. When all I have to do is get my shirts, in which I usually get the next day because the company I use, they're right here in Jersey and I'm in New York, or worst case scenario, I can hop in my car, run to Michael's, pick up five Gildan t-shirts, and if I don't have the colors in stock, then I can grab a roll or two, come back home, have the shirts done within a couple of minutes versus three to four days. So, weigh your options, because again, if it don't make dollars, then it don't make sense. Now, if you're doing large quantities of the same style, then yes, order you some transfers, get those in the mail, and knock that order out as soon as they arrive. One more thing before I let you guys go. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to tap that notification bell, because you know Mr. T-Shirt makes videos like this all the time. As always, I'm your boy, Mr. T-Shirt, signing out. Peace.